Welcome to NICE Real-Time Designer How-To Videos. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an event to monitor keyboard input using the NICE Real-Time Designer. The Keyboard Monitor feature enables you to enhance the ability of following up on an agent's activities. You can monitor events that are triggered by keyboard activity and shortcuts, mouse activity, and cursor movements, even in places where the application connectivity is missing. First, we need to create a user activity instance. In the Business Entities tab, click the Types tab, then Library Types, User Activity, and then right-click Keyboard Monitoring and create an instance of Keyboard Monitoring. To create an instance that will hold the key value, go to the Instances tab and click New Instance. You can call it Key. Next, we need to create two event handlers in order to enable getting the keyboard input. The first event is listening to the keyboard. Go to the Business Logic tab, then Event Handlers tab, and click New Event Handler. Give the new event a meaningful name. For example, On Load. Define when the event is raised. In the Properties tab, drill down to select your event. Go to Library Objects, then Administration, and then Solution Loaded. Next, define the function to execute. Click Insert Instruction, and then Function Invocation. Go to Library Objects, then Keyboard Monitoring, and then Add Key. Select a function to get the key code from the keyboard. Click Select Key Code, then go to Business Entities, Keyboard Monitoring, and Get Key Code. The next step is specifying the key to be listening to as an input. Click Select Code Name, and type the key you will be listening to as an input. Next, specify which transition state should be listened to as an input. Click Transition State and select True from the drop-down box. Now, add a function to start listening to the keyboard input. Click Insert Function, then Function Invocation, and in the Keyboard Monitoring Library, click Start. After creating the event that will listen to the keyboard, we create the second event that will specify what will happen when the key is struck. To specify the event, go to the Event Handlers tab, then click New Event Handler. Give your event a meaningful name. For example, Keyboard Listener. In the Properties tab, click Select Event. Go to Business Entities, then Keyboard Monitoring, and choose Keyboard Monitoring Event. Now, assign an event into the key you created. Click the Insert Instruction box and click Assignment. Next, click Select Object. Go to Business Entities and select the event you created, Key. And now specify the value. Click Enter Value, then Parameters. And finally, choose Event Name. Here's a quick summary of what we've reviewed in this lesson. Now that you've learned how to work with the keyboard monitor feature in the NICE Real-Time Designer, you have a new and enhanced way of monitoring an agent's movements. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more short how-to videos about the NICE Real-Time Designer's functions.